Hi, this is Mike with OnPoint Software. Welcome to our free demo to set up ODBC so that you can create and modify Crystal Reports to run from your Sage Timberline Office core modules. We're going to start this with a quick how-to, and then for those who want, to, who want to see more, we're going to follow up with more information, including tips and tricks, and also where to go to get more information. At the end of this free demo, please visit our uh, our website and go to the Contact Us tab. Uh, we ask that you send us a note and, and tell us what you thought about this uh, free demo. We pay very close attention to your feedback. We, we want you to get the most uh, from your time, and we also want you to get the most from your investment in the software. So uh, please tell us what you think so that we can improve the quality of, uh, of these demos. Thanks a lot. Let's get into the software. To get kicked off, click on the Start button, and then click on Control Panel. Inside of Control Panel, click on Administrative Tools, and then click on ODBC. Now inside of ODBC, you're going to have uh, tabs, User, System, File, so on and so forth. Make sure you're on the User DSN tab, and then click so the Timberline data source is highlighted click configure and then click on select folder now what you see on your screen is going to be different than what's on uh, my system uh, you'll more than likely have the sample data and then uh, the, the company or companies that are on your system click and highlight the company that you want to use when you're modifying or creating uh, crystal reports then click OK Next, click on Options, and then make sure that Standard Descriptions is selected for Table and Field Naming. Also, make sure that the first box is checked. Your, your screen should look very much like this, with the exception of the data folder, which would be the one you choose to uh, uh, for the data on your reports. Then click OK. Then click OK and close administrative tools. Congratulations! You have set up ODBC so that on this particular computer or login you can modify and create Crystal reports on your Sage Timberline Office core modules and print preview from within Crystal. Okay, a few minutes to cover tips and tricks and some uh, additional information that we hope will be useful to you. Uh, first of all, ODBC is covered in great detail in our Crystal and our ODBC courses. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, where to where to go to those to get those courses in a, in a few minutes. The Stowe version uh, we have set up and tested through Sage Timberline Office version 9.7. Uh, there's going to be there will be there there will be slight differences in versions prior to 9.4. Uh, you'll have a few few different setup options. If you've got any, if you're on a version prior to 9.4 and you're setting up a DSN, uh, please please call Timberline Support or your business partner, or don't hesitate to uh, to uh, shoot us a note as well. Your DSNs will be will be different. Uh, they're going to be the same but different depending on the the type of module you're in. Uh, we've set them up for the bulk of the modules, your Sage Accounting core modules. Uh, you've also got DSNs and setup considerations if you're doing reports for purchasing and inventory or for service management specialty modules. Uh, please remember, you've only got to do this uh, DSN setup for the computer you're going to use to modify or create crystal reports. Uh, for other computers, Timberline knows how to handle it. It's built into the software. Remember, please, if you're going to rerun reports from your Sage Timberline menus, you'll need to use the uh, Timberline data source, DSN. DSNs for Excel, Access, Word, Mail, Merge, things like that, they're set up with slight differences. Uh, we've got a free tutorial that covered those as well. wanted to make you aware of that. Probably most important, where to go to get more information. Uh, you've got a Crystal PDF document in your software. If you go to, if you're in a, in a, in a Sage Timberline module and go to Help Documents, you'll see Crystal PDF that talks about many important things, including the DSN setup and the integration formulas that tell the Crystal report how to run seamlessly from within the, 
the uh, Timberline menus. Very important stuff. It is version specific, so make sure you, you review that with each up, uh, upgrade. Uh, you've also got different conferences. We we teach at the Sage Timberline Summit conferences, the user conference. Uh, we've got uh, ODBC and specialty courses there, including uh, beginning, intermediate, and advanced crystal. We do the same thing at Sage Timberline user group conferences and Sage uh, consultant conferences. Sage also has many opportunities for online learning. Please uh, contact your business partner to see what kind of opportunities there might be there that uh, might benefit you. And uh, your business partner and consultant might offer their own uh, opportunities as well. All right, thank you for uh, joining us. We hope you get a lot out of this. And again, please visit our website. Uh, go to the Contact Us tab and shoot us a note. Tell us what you thought about this tutorial and how we might make it better for you. We appreciate your time and uh, have a great day. Thanks.